What up, YouTube? This your boy NBM back again with another one. And today we are talking about the Daw Reaper. Now, most of y'all probably already got Reaper because it's a free Daw. I believe it's free still. I'm not sure. But at the end of the day, what I think about Reaper, man, I'm going to give y'all my thoughts right now. I think Reaper is an excellent dog, man. And I, I really think Reaper is making their way in the game. And I think it's going to be a game changer. The dope thing about Reaper is the resources. What I love about Reaper is the resources. The fact that you can change the whole outlook of the dog and make it look like any other dog of your choice that you probably already didn't play with, like FL Studios, Logic, Ableton Live, Studio One. They have resources, man. If you go over to reaper.fm, go to resources you will see all the things that they have for reaper which is pretty dope so if you're not comfortable mixing with the stock template of reaper then you're able to choose any other uh any other theme that you want the dope part about that is some of the uh themes you know people want donations if you want the full theme look but they do give you a free custom one that they made it's not the full thing but if you want to purchase it you can you can just give like three bucks or whatever they just asking for a donation after that they email you with a dope ass thing man i chose the iLogic, which was pretty dope so it makes it easier to record in it and it kind of it's kind of user friendly once you change the theme up because when i first opened up reaper i mean every dog you know is pretty much the same to me in a way the interface is just a little different but with this one it was pretty dope once i installed my theme opened it up it was like boom i'm gonna show y'all how to send auxiliary and buses in reaper man show y'all the interface that i downloaded and the reason why i like it will i be using this dog in the future most definitely man i think it's pretty dope and you should too let's check it out man let's check it out so as you can see i would pretty much got like the uh ilogic interface going on they call it ilogic this is the uh this is the user interface that i'm using right now and i like it man it makes it more comfortable man it makes it easy to use so like if you got it you know what i mean you can go download the resources or whatever all you got to do is just head to reaper.fm go to resources go to themes and then here you can type in whatever theme you want so if you want like pro tools you can type up Pro Tools. That get your Pro Tools theme, and it, and they're very easy to install. Once you just you just download it, you can click on it, boom, and then in here it'll let you know you know details about the uh, theme, who made it, and you know if um if they have like a bigger version of the theme, it'll be down here for like a donation. You can see it right here. Uh, once you give them your email, PayPal, or whatever. They'll send you the uh, download. Uh, the guy I got mine from, it took a little minute, man. You know, so, you know, some of these people are overseas, so it'll take a little minute. And then you can actually click on the theme, and then you see it looks just like Pro Tools. So it'll make it like Pro Tools user-friendly for you so where it can make things easy for you. That's pretty dope, man, you know, to be able to have resources and to use themes and stuff like this. So that's pretty much how you get there, man, and, you know, easy work. Now, as far as the sins and auxiliaries go, I was kind of confused at, at doing this at one point because it was like, damn, you know, a lot of people were showing that all you do is just, you know, drag this up under here and boom, you'll have a sin. And you can do it like that, but I found an easier way. Now, the dope part about this is the thing. It has pretty much like a lot of things that uh, Logic has to where you can open up the mixer. This way, the knobs, the pan buttons, everything, you know, everything looked like it looked like logic, man, you know, except for certain things over here, you know. Um, but you can't beat it. It's user friendly to you. So if you're a logic, you a logic user like I am, um, man, you, you'll love it. So, yeah. So pretty much if you want to send it's, it's a little different sending auxiliaries on this. So in order to send a sense in order to send auxiliary or a bus. You gotta and it's you just create a track. So all you gotta do is just double click in here, boom, there you go. So where it says routing, you're gonna go here to the master, you're gonna click on master, and then it's gonna open this up. Now, you got um you got your master send, you know, you can uh add new sends here. But where we wanna go, we wanna actually send this to be received some uh to be received by our bus. So all we're gonna do is Let's see. Um, let me play it so I can hear the first verse. Open up to see if Look. I can taste in This casa got me feeling like I'm me go. Bet you catch me in your section with your free coat. But you can have a back. 
So let me name this real quick. First one. Just name it real quick so you guys can see. And then you just click on here. You click on the, uh, yours might say I.O., so just click on it. Mine say Master. And then go to Receive and just click on verse 1. There go, there go one bus, uh, there go one auxiliary uh, channel created right there. And then you can do that for all, for all the ones that you see that for all the uh, actual of uh, uh, the first, second verse hook and everything. If you want to send those all to the same bus, you can. And then the dope part about it, this will be your, uh, like, you know, your, uh, I call it vocal drive, but this will be my vocal drive bus. That'll be my vocal drive bus. Boom. So that'll be for that. So check it out. Look, this casa got me feeling like I'm me goes. Bet you catch me in your section with your free coat. But you can have a back as well. Keep those fucking with the curb. Keep your free clothes. Before so this channel, you know, this is probably where you want to add some effects. So, you know, if you got a computer that's not really good at processing plugins, you can definitely just add it to a master bus. And then, boom, you can just add your plugins on here, which would be good. So that pretty much makes it easy with that. And then if you want to create uh, another auxiliary for reverb, you just double click again. And the same thing here, you're going to go to the uh, uh, IO or master. And then you're going to add that same verse one again. Now we just created another auxiliary for that. And we can name this reverb. Reverb. And then from here, you can add your reverb. And, you know, just like with Logic, it has the plus button to add the plugin. So you can just hit the plus button. And then from there, you know, type in reverb. And then you got a list of reverbs you can choose from. So if I wanted to use, let's just say I want to use um, H reverb, I would do stereo. Remember, I always use stereo. And then we'll have H reverb. Now, and a good part about this is we can add the reverb to it. So let's play it and then let's add some reverb. Look, this casa got me feeling like I'm me goes. Bet you catch me in your section with your free coat. But you can have a back as well, keep those Fucking with the curb, keep your freak close Before I snatch her up in my pea coat. Pretty in the face, she got them vibes too I got a smirker and them legs showing signs too I got an intersection screaming out new nigga me and I So it's just like sending auxiliaries and logic, man That's what I like about this I really feel like this doll is about to make some noise in the industry real soon, man So pretty much, man, you know You do the same thing with, um, with delays You can add a delay, you can add a delay auxiliary, same thing and that's pretty much how you do it, man. I don't want to drag this tutorial on. You know what I mean? It's just I just wanted to show you guys how to send auxiliary channels inside of Reaper the easy way, how to get the resources and stuff like that. Man, it's your boy, NBM. I hope y'all enjoyed this little bitty tutorial on how to send some auxiliaries to Reaper. And you're good to go, man. Some resources. You're good. All right? Peace.